I'm Wes Cantrell and I wrote High Performance Ethics because I felt uh, impressed by the Lord to get the word out about the fact that you can uh, actually have a high performance business that's based on spiritual principles, godly principles. And these principles are irrevocable and unchanging. And so it's an important message uh, to get out to people in the business world and for that matter in any line of work. In the corporate world today, ethical performance is not only uh, a requirement, it's a necessity in order to survive in the business world today. We have many, many new laws, but you know, even before those laws were made, uh, most of the American companies performed ethically uh, because it's good business and because uh, ethics pays off in the long run as well as the short run. Uh, in fact, in a recent article in the Wall Street Journal, there's an organization called uh, Integrity Audit, interesting title for an organization like that, and they audited publicly held companies, and they found that the good guys finish first. In other words, in terms of total shareholder return, the good guys fin finished first. So I think the point is that high performance ethics is a requirement if you're really going to be ethical and if you're going to uh, perform for your shareholders in, in the business world today. I want to make it clear, however, that this book is intended for people in any line of work, any organizational work, not just in publicly held companies. Now, ethical performance pays off in the long term, and of course that's a good thing, but it also pays off in the short term because you have the peace of mind of knowing that you've done the right thing. Now, we use the Ten Commandments uh, as a model for our book uh, because we need something that is constant, that's unchanging. It was old Thomas Watson, the founder of IBM, who said everything around us is changing. Uh, the only constant is change, but there is one thing that we must not ever allow to change, and that's our beliefs or our values or ethics, you could say. And uh, that's very important. So what we're dealing with here with the Ten Commandments is something that does not change in an ever-changing world, a constant. We must have that, or otherwise we're dealing with just something that somebody dreamed up out of their own imagination as an ethical standard. Uh, Jim Lucas and I wrote this book together and uh, that brings a unique perspective to this book because Jim Lucas is a gifted writer and a teacher and I on the other hand have 46 years of experience in uh, actually running a business. Jim and I together have a combined 80 years of experience in business and so that uniquely qualifies us to speak on this subject. I think the interesting thing to the reader uh, will be the fact that we combine the teaching uh, with the actual events, the actual stories that illustrate how these principles work. And that brings real value. It's not just imaginary, it's not something that somebody dreamed up, but it's real, honest to goodness, factual happenings. That, uh, so you might think of this book as a combination of teaching and case histories. In writing this book, both uh, Jim Lucas and I had the uh, person who has a job in mind. What other kind, whatever kind of organizational life you might be involved in, whether you work in a business or in education or in a church or in government. If you have a job, this book applies to you because you'll find answers to the problems that you face every day.